What's up, guys? I wanted to give you guys a quick bet update on some of the odds that have been released so far for the Davies versus Barroso fight. Um, guys, uh, last week I thought I got a great value, a great deal, all right? Um, and I didn't come on to talk about it because I wanted to see what the other casinos put out there and see how their odds played out. Hopefully, it will be in our favor, all right, which it is, all right? Bet365 gave a plus 1,200 on Barroso to win between rounds one and six, all right? Guys, I couldn't deposit mm -hmm. money to bet that fast enough, all right? Because, as I've said in the past, all of Barroso's knockouts – have happened within the first six rounds, all right? Um, 24 victories, 22 knockouts. That's a 92% KO percentage. All 22 knockouts have happened in rounds one, two, three, four, five, or six, all right? So, yes, I hopped all over that, all right? And Davies is very hittable, not great defensively, all right? So, and he quit in the fight. So, yeah, I thought that was a gold mine, all right? Now, they have been, uh, you know, outdone by my favorite sports book, FanDuel, all right, because my favorite, because they constantly give the best odds, all right. Guys, they're giving a plus 1,400 on Ismael Barroso to win between rounds one and six. Plus 1,400, all right. Uh, yeah, I went in again, all right. Uh, on that prop, I also played the money line on FanDuel because they're giving the best odds on the money line. All right, pretty much everywhere has like a plus 350 or so. Um, if you go into the three way betting on FanDuel, you can get Barroso at a plus 380. All right, now normally I wouldn't do a three way bet because. If you do that and the fight's a draw, you're going to lose your money, all right? If you do a two-way bet, you'll get your money back if it's a draw. But in this case, I'm not worried about the draw because somebody should get stopped in this fight. This fight should not go a full 12, you know. You know, if you want the safe bet of the of the weekend or of this fight, the player to not go to distance. I think FanDuel has the best odds on it also at like a minus 200 or something, maybe like a minus 220 or something like that. You know, uh, which I think is very good. I think uh, other places have it like minus 300 or higher. All right. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, I played Barroso on the money line on FanDuel at plus 380. That's the highest I have seen it. And I'm pretty sure that's the highest it will be. All right. Uh, BetMGM has not posted their props yet. Uh, as of now, FanDuel has Barroso uh, the highest on the KO prop at a plus 550. I think uh, Bet365 have up their odds to match it all right. So, um, yes, uh, uh, plus 550 currently the highest on the KO prop. But I'm going to wait and see what the other casinos have for that prop uh, before I play the KO prop. All right, I already have money on rounds one through six. Uh, you know, which I'm feeling good about. I think Barroso, not only is he going to win, but he's going to stop this guy within the first six rounds. Uh, not just because of his track record, uh, and of course he has the power to punch, but uh, Davies is very hittable, man. You know, not great defensively. In the recent fight, he was getting hit with that left hand, which was the jab, over and over again. Well, in this case, it's going to be the power left hand, and... Uh, if he's getting hit flush repeatedly by uh, Ismael Barroso, he ain't going to last 12 rounds, all right? And I don't think he's going to make it past the six, all right? So, you know, that's the way I'm viewing it. So I have money on the on the uh, the round props. But as far as the KO to cover the whole fight, I'm going to wait and I'm going to see who has the best odds, you know, after more sports books uh, release their odds, all right? Um, I think I'm, you know... Could somebody shock me and give a plus 600 on it? Maybe. You know, he'll bet MGM surprise me with the Ryan Garcia fight, all right? They had, the you know, the highest on the KO prop. But we'll see, all right? 
So I'm going to wait to go in on that. But rounds one through six, I've already gone in, guys. Um, oh, also, all right, before I forget, uh, because the odds were so good, I could not resist, all right? At first, at first, uh, Bet365 had, um, you know, plus 10,000 on the rounds one and two prop, all right? Individually, not combined, all right? Um, after I placed my wager for the round one through six prop, the odds dropped, all right? It went down to a plus 1,000 on that prop. It went down on the individual round props, all right, to like a plus 6,600 or something like that, all right? Um, DraftKings came out with their round props uh, like a, a day or two ago. They were given a plus 8,000 on round one, all right, for Barroso, who has multiple first-round stoppages, and again, Davies is hittable. So I went in on the plus 8,000, all right? Uh, I, I didn't think it was going to get better than that, you know. Well, uh, I think FanDuel gave him plus 7,000, so, you know, not blown away there. But Bet365 has up their, um, their round one and round two props uh, back up to a plus 10,000. So, uh, yeah, I went in on that too. All right. Uh, those are some huge odds on a puncher going against a guy who does not have great defense. You know, a guy who's way more experienced, a guy who I'm expecting to win and win by stoppage, all right? So, uh, yeah, small money. Don't take big, you know, big plays to profit on these huge round props, all right? Um, plus 10,000, round one. Plus 10,000, round two. Bet 365. Uh, plus 8,000, round one. DraftKings, all right? Um, that's the best I'm seeing the individual round props so far all right so i wanted to highlight that also but i'll be looking out at the uh ko props from other casinos and if they give round bits uh i will come on in a later video to comment on it but uh yes guys i'm fully expecting barroso to win and to win by stoppage the only way he doesn't win this fight in my opinion is if he all of a sudden is shot because of the age you know and who knows maybe it could be a drop off from the uh romero fight which was you know seven months ago at this point but um you know if he's still that guy he should win this fight unless he gets robbed on the scorecards if it goes there which i'm not expecting it to or he gets robbed by the ref again or or Howard davies lands you know a, a shot that he cannot recover from all right a, a one punch ko uh, I shouldn't say lucky punch, but, you know, a, just a one-punch shot that he cannot recover from, all right? He should box circle, circles around this guy. He should be hitting this guy repeatedly. He should drop this guy, stop him, all right? Might make him quit, all right? So, that's it. That's the way I'm viewing the fight. I'll come on and comment later as more, uh, you know, odds are released. Let me know what you guys think. Good luck to you if you play this fight, and I'll check in with you guys soon. Thanks for watching.